Okay, this is a tutorial on how to set up VirtualBox and get a VPN or virtual private network client working with it. Okay, first thing you want to do is if you haven't already, download VirtualBox from Sun Microsystems. But you can go get it from virtualbox.org, download it and stuff like that. And I'm sure you guys are able to do that. You can go get it from their website and stuff like that and get it for whatever operating system you want that supports x86 and 64-bit machines, so that's really good too. Now after you get it downloaded and installed, you're going to want to open it up. And what you do to get an operating system installed is you create a virtual hard disk. Like you see here, I have two virtual hard disks created, one for Kubuntu and for one for XP. And I'll go through the setup real quick for you, but to create a new virtual machine, you give it a name, type the kind of OS you want. If you want to do XP, give it the name test. And you tell it how much uh, RAM you want to give it. Make your hard disk. Make your, make your virtual hard disk, excuse me. And it's best to create one that dynamically expands because you'll probably not use the whole hard disk. And you'll set what the size you want the image to be. And then you create it. I'm not going to create it because I already have one created but after you get one created you're going to want to go to the settings and set it up and you can change all the settings how much video memory you give it how much RAM you give it type of operating system and you can uh, mount certain CD-ROMs or mount ISO files and enable pass-through so the virtual, virtual machine can send commands directly, directly to your CD-ROM drive Enable your audio and your audio driver and your audio controller. Network serial ports, USB, all that. And you're going to want to enable your network adapter if you want to get your VPN working. Set it to cable connected. What I do is I create a host interface, which creates a virtual tap interface. I've got mine called VB1. Create one by clicking the plus button here and setting it uh, attached to a host interface putting the name in, then set the MAC address to whatever you want to generate it to. And choosing your adapter type is going to be dependent on, you know, whether you're Ethernet connected or wireless or whatever. Now after you do that in 64-bit Vista like I'm running here, what you want to do is you want to go to your network connections. And mine's taking a little bit low because Screen capture is taking up some resources. And you want to bridge your network connections. Like I've got this network bridge created that bridges the virtual tap interface, VB1, that I've got created, and my wireless connection so I can get to a VPN. Like I'll show you. We go to properties on that network connection. You can see it bridges my wireless and my tap. If you're going to use Ethernet too, you can bridge it with your Ethernet and uses the following items, blah blah blah. And let me start up my virtual machine here, my virtual XP. As you can see my virtual XP is loading up. You can see it's loaded. What you want to do is, you know, go ahead and install your VPN client, same way you normally would inside the virtual machine, like it was a real machine. And after that, you know, if you're using Cisco like I do, you load your PCF file and get it set up the same way you normally would.
you just open your VPN client normally. You would just connect up the way you normally do, which I'm not going to connect right now, but I assure you it does work. I'm going to close it out. And that's just a very brief tutorial on how to get your VPN set up with VirtualBox because Cisco doesn't make a 64-bit VPN client VPN client so people like me have to find workarounds and that's another one